Hello everyone. Today I'd like to introduce you to version 6 of GE's iFix HMI SCADA. I'll walk you through the highlights of this release and invite you to watch our playlist which goes into deeper detail on each of these features. So the first feature that we'll highlight is the long name support that we've added to iFix 6.0. No more truncation of your na tag names to 30 characters. We now support 256 character tag names, allowing you to more meaningfully describe your assets and, uh, and take advantage especially of uh, today's more model-based devices. Next is our OPC UA server. So OPC UA is uh, the future of device communications and uh, allowing the iFix database, both alarms and points, to be exposed via this uh, standard OPC UA interface opens up uh, a lot of communication options uh, to securely connect to iFix and retrieve data for other applications. Alarm shelving has been added this release. This is part of the ISA 18.2 specification and is to help with those uh, cases where operators are inundated with uh, a bunch of nuisance alarms or more alarms than they can handle in a given time frame and allowing them to not ignore them but put them on hold uh, while they deal with the most critical alarms and have these alarms come back into activity uh, after their uh, shelf time has expired. Web HMI, when it first came out, uh, allowed you to export pictures from iFix and then import them into the WebHMI system uh, to tie into the WebHMI model and view them uh, with data. Now we've shortened that process so instead of having to explicitly export, save it, uh, then go to WebHMI separately and import it and associate it to an asset, we now allow you to directly publish to a running WebHMI system. So when you create your pictures or modify them and want to see them in WebHMI from within iFix, you'll be able to publish them directly to WebHMI. Finally, we've added a couple of domain enhancements, multi-domain support, allowing you to synchronize more than one Active Directory domain into iFix, as well as domain caching support for those times where you have remote nodes that aren't always guaranteed to be uh, connected to the network. Uh, now can take their credentials from uh, the Windows cache uh, to continue to do your SCADA operations. So there we have it. And uh, these uh, features are also highlighted in their own separate videos in an iFix uh, 6.0 playlist uh, coming to YouTube.